Hello everyone, how is it going? It's Casey Zeman here and uh, today I wanted to talk to you about a particular plugin that I use um, for my WordPress site and uh, this, this, um, this video is not necessarily going to be um, just fawning over this particular plugin. Um, I'm going to show you the, the definitely the positives of it, but I'm actually also going to show you that the sort of the negatives and the sort of the things to avoid with it. Um, now, just to just sort of describe what it actually is, uh, I'm sure most of you know what a plugin is for WordPress. Uh, I'm I'm hoping you do. If you don't, um, WordPress first off is a blogging platform, and plugins are uh, are pretty much the accents of that website or that blog. Um, they kind of uh, are the curtains, uh, you know, for the house type of thing. They just make it pretty. They make it everything look good, and they are, are f they have um, function qualities to them that are really beneficial. Uh, specifically, something like this. This is a really great tool because what this one is uh, does, and it's called SEO Presser. What this one does is it actually optimizes your SEO for your posts every time you you create a blog post it helps with uh, making it um, search engine optimized okay so let's just say it, it it's like having a uh, sort of an SEO it's, li it's like having an SEO expert watching what you're doing and helping you along the way um, however there are a couple um, things that I have issues with about it, but I'm going to show you that you don't necessarily have to uh, to go all the way with it. The trick is to have it optimized without it looking like it's optimized. And so what we're going to do right now is we're just going to edit one of my posts. We're going to go into um, my website and I'm going to show you how this really works. Okay, now if you'll notice just like any other WordPress post, you're going to be titling and you're going to be putting your text here and your context. Um, and this is where SEO Presser pops in right here. Okay, it gives you a score of where you're at with your um, optimization, and as you can see with mine, it's pretty low. It's 14.44% is is how optimized the site is, and the goal obviously is to get to 100%. Um, and then keyword density is also very low. Okay, they say you want to have your keyword density between 2.5 and 3% or something. Okay, so this is what they do. They show you ways to optimize it, and uh, and every time you fix a, an issue in your post you get a green check mark which shows that you've completed that uh, that particular issue and it's more optimized so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go down the list and and, and I'm gonna go through the process of actually optimizing this this blog so that you can see how long it takes for one and what it kinda look like, looks like and if you like it looking like that or if it feel, feels like it's generic it's spammy looking you know because it's like well you're putting so many keywords in there you know where it feels like it just doesn't fit so um, so we're gonna we're gonna do this together okay um, alright so let's start with the first one uh, you do not have an h1 tag containing your keywords okay? and if, if if you've ever done this um, what they recommend is having H1 in on the in the first line of your post okay and let's see so my my keyword is guest blogging so here let's see see right here yeah so why should you guest blog okay now when you're making something H1 you obviously highlight and this is where you find it you find it in your uh, format line and here's h1 h2 obviously head, head, uh, heading one sorry heading one heading two heading three heading four so this is going to be heading one all right and now let's see you do not have h2 tag containing your um, h2 tag containing your keyword so 
Yeah, so why should you guest blog? Well, here's why. Backlinks, especially one-way backlinks, is a good reason to backlog. Is is a great reason for guest blogging. Do guest blogging. Okay, now we take this and we make this H2. Those are simply good. Okay, now I have a video in here. So let's see. You do not have H3 tag containing your keyword. So, um, so if we read, and this is a very short post because mostly it's a vlog actually. It's more um, more a video than an actual uh, post uh, or a uh, text post. So let's read this. If you're not sure what those are, well, simply put there, when one person puts something on their site, the backlink's yours. Now, many people do two-way links uh, where your link, where you, where you are linking to their site and they link to yours. This is also this is also effective, comma, yet not as effective as the one-way link. I did a guest blog, wait, well now here, see I have guest here and I have blogging here. And as you can see, the keyword is guest blogging, but I have guest blog with blogging mogul. So I think I'm going to take this and, oh, no, no, too much, too much, too much. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Take it. And make this H3. Come on, H3, okay. I'm also going to put a, yeah, okay. So now we're at, Bold your keywords. You do not have enough keywords to italicize. You do not have a gift keywords to underline. You do not have an image for SEO presser. See, this is where it's really beneficial. You know, you should have an image that you can have alternative tags and say what you want on there. Um, and uh, you do not have keywords in the first sentence. Well, that's not true. We just fixed that. So let's, what we should do right now is update and see what has changed, if anything has changed, to see what more we need to do. Okay, well, here you can see we went from 14% to 43% just with those few changes, and now our keyword density is 1.5. Okay, you did not have, okay, and just like I suspected, and it did not work, you, can't, you have to have guest blogging together as you can see, it didn't show up for the H3 tag that we just created here. I did a guest blog with blogging. So, okay, so this is what I decided on. Uh, you can see an example of guest blogging by going to http uh, johnchow.com. That is uh, what I decided on, and let's update that. So hopefully this H3 will, uh, will, uh, will be fixed, and it is. Great, so now it's at 50%. So now I, I created, this is a short, this is not even an article, it's not even a post really, it's so short, but um, what I, I, you know, what's really great about something like why should you guest post, or why should you guess, why should you be, see, and this is the other thing, uh, why should you be a, why should you attempt guest blogging? Okay, what's nice about a question like that is you can, it, it, it sets itself up for creating something like bullet points in your particular article or post. So I think what I'd like to do now is, let's see what we have here. We don't have the italicized or the underlined um, keywords. So what I think I'm gonna do right now is create a th few, few bullet points, uh, three or four, uh, that show that guest blogging, um, 
you know that that that, that show the keywords guest blogging in it, and uh, and then and then refresh and see where we're at at that point. Okay, because the keyword density is also pretty low still. It's at 1.97. We want it maybe 2.5 to 3 percent. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna put it on pause while I do that. Okay, I you know what, folks? I what I've actually done is I decided to change the actual keyword, and you can change your key keyword down here. SEO presser keyword guest blogger, as you can see right here. Uh, and I changed it instead of guest blogging to guest blogger, and I did that because. I want to go with this number, I think. So, um, just as a test, and uh, and actually, if we let's check out uh, Google Keyword Tool, All right? And let's check this out for a minute and check on. Oh, that was it. Okay, guest blogger, Rio Nod search. Guest blogger. Blogger is humongo, gigantic. Blog writing is a good one. But, I mean, this is not a bad monthly search. It's not that gigantic, but at the same time, it's okay. Let's try guest blogging. Guest blogging is a little smaller. Make money blogging. 